Hey YouTube, so this is Tim Treist from Tim Treist uh, Woodworking and one of my ongoing problems is that I have nowhere in my shop to do anything. So when it comes time to build something or whatever, I'm always using my table saw to, for a work surface or uh, a section of my miter station for a work surface. Uh, let me show you what I mean. It, it's, so forgive the mess because it's, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to give you a quick, a quick, oh my God. So this is what I have to deal with all the time. So right here, I've got my jointer and my planer and nowhere to do anything. I've got a little vise and then a wonderful uh, disc sander, belt sander. And that's that's coming really handy. And of course, all this is is just a collection of crap. Um, over here, this is, I'm doing a little thing over here. I'm trying to make a little uh, candy dish. And so it's glued up, it's well glued up already. So it's all dry, but this is this is my work surface. This this is awful. This this saw is really expensive, and uh, it doesn't need to be my my workstation. And there's there's my router, buried in crap. We got stuff over here. I mean it's 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 just bad. Now, here's all my all my live edge stuff and some leftover melamine and some just you know various sheets of of plywood. No, this so a lot of this was I had a lot more stuff buried here in this corner and um it's now now made its new home over there and that's this is still a work in progress but again I have nowhere to work so it, it's just as I find time and as I find a, a scrap of space to to build stuff then that's how it happens and then so yeah there's the there's my messy miter station slash um work area and that's that's all going to change Yep. This is my morning. This is what I wake up to. Wake up, make some, make some coffee, come out in the shop and start doing this. Because I only got, crap, I only got a few more minutes. And I gotta do my other job. Let's go ahead and glue Two deals at once. Stuff. See what I mean? So now uh, the, the structure is, is sitting out here like this and I've Measured out, uh, this is not, uh, it needs to be four feet across. And it's not sitting four feet across right now. It's just for demonstration, it's just for work. Um, but I am going to take into account uh, three inches here, three inches there. Subtract that from uh, 48, I've got 42, so I only need to cut 42 inches. And I'm going to pocket hole them so that the boards are flush mount here. And there'll be a flush mount down at the bottom. And then the wheels will go below that, raise it up to the height that I need to go right over there. Now, I don't have a fancy little track in my miter station. This, by the way, was just a means, it's a means to an end. That's all it is. Uh, this will just slap together so I could get all of my stuff out of boxes because this is kind of a new house. So you can't work out of boxes. At least I can. It drives me nuts. I don't know where anything is. So I slapped this together just to get stuff out of boxes and somewhat organized, even though I, it's a constant battle that I am uh, having. So um, just 
put together a uh, stop block here <laughs> just a simple clamp you know what it works and uh, yeah so there's my there's my line hey free sound effects clamp all, all I gotta do is chop it four times and done boom <laughs> all right so I have a thought and the thought is this I don't have a clamp big enough to get that's a hell of a reverse where are you going fella <laughs> all right whatever this guy means to not be stopped he's going across the road get the gun Need your help. Fine. Yes. Alright. Come over here and squeeze. 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 Squeeze the clamp. The clamp? Yeah. Which clamp? Oh, that one. This I, one. I didn't know you had one on there. Yeah. I thought you were just being funny. No. Not only is it crooked, I have... Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I thought you knew it was crooked. No, I had no idea. Because it won't go. I mean, it, is this? I need you to just tell me when it's good. Because I can't see. So. Yeah, it's good. That's, that's good. But all I need to do is just rest her. And be somewhat flush to that. See, it's pulling that out of strength. I know, I know. Now, I need good screws. This, this still isn't going to work. I need a big ass clamp to hold everything together while, while I drive these in. Okay, so now I realized after I changed out all the fasteners that I was actually, I missed out when I guys told you that, uh, that I was changing them out to two and a half. What I did is I changed them out to two inch and I got back over to my little area over here and I'm saying hey why do I have a two and a half box sitting there that's all sealed up so all of these have two inch fasteners in instead of the two and a half like I said but this is kind of a neat thing here so this is what I was talking about so I guess 
be prepared to have the fasteners on hand with the material that you're going to be fastening together. Uh, here's a really cool example of this. So with the inch and a half, or inch and a, what is it, inch and a half, inch and a quarter? It is inch and a quarter fasteners. Uh, that's what this, so this is what it really, really looks like. So when it's in, setting in, I guess screwed in is about as far as it's going to go. It's going to sit right, right about there. Yeah, you're going to have uh, adequate clamping pressure or clamping force, I guess, to, for your your wood to go into this piece. But more is better, right? So then here's what a two inch would look like. You get a lot more grip, a lot more bite. And uh, then the two and a half, well, then you're going through everything. Problem is, you come around this way. And this is why I'm glad I, I didn't do the two and a half. See, this faster is going to be lined up exactly where this guy is going. So this guy is probably, what, two inches on its own. He's going in this way, and this is going to be going in an angle. You know what's going to happen? They're going to hit. So I, went up, I left the two inch in there. So he's sitting in about here. Maybe they're not hitting. I don't know. This one is going in here, and that one's going to go probably right next to each other. That I took out, and I put a two and a half in, just to see what it would do. And I didn't have any issues, so I'm leaving it, and I'm leaving all the fasteners the way that they sit on, on this right now. Now I'm going to take all the stuff off. Oh yeah, and I did find a clamp. I had these clamps sitting in the back. I forgot all about them, so that's a lot easier. You need a big ass clamp to put all this together. Because if you just got to try to hold it and and uh, screw these in, it's going to walk on you. So you need a big clamp or a clamp period to hold these in place. And that's exactly, that's pretty much all I did here. Just put that clamp up and tap it with a little persuader. Screw them in. And, though there's no glue either. Just in case. If I need to take it apart later, if I need to change the width, make it wider, make it, make it more narrow, I can. I don't have to worry about busting the glue off. Just unscrew and go to town. So, I'm going to get all this off and I'm going to flip this and then I'm going to do the uh, same thing on the opposite side, which is here. Again, I have uh, four sets of pockets on either end on all four corners. So, I'm going to go ahead and get those one and a quarters out and put in... I've been pretty happy with the two inch. I think I'm going to keep it at the two inch. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, this is going to be the, the carcass of a cabinet, but I'm not going to do a cabinet, just a modified cabinet. You'll see in a minute. Anyway, I got the track saw set up, clamped up, and we're about ready to rock and roll.
the uh, frame is all done, and I think this is going to wrap it up for the first video here for the uh, workbench series. Um, I believe I am at my uh, seventh subscriber now, so please hit that button below. And I'd like to thank uh, today's sponsor. Um, yeah, me. I'm the sponsor. <laughs> all right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you next time. Later.